on the very beautiful raspberry last night. Strictly routine. You're marvelous. Last night you steal a small fortune and, and today you lie on the beach with an American beauty. Well, that's why one needs a small fortune. Is this your next victim? Well, let's just say she's a useful friend. You know, your old friends of the resistance who work at the restaurant, they call the police all sorts of terrible names when they had to let you go yesterday. Mm, would it be bad manners to ask who tipped off the police at the flower market? Oh, they never say anything to the slick sooner or less. Well, somebody did. But still, they would be very happy if you were caught during your next job. Well, it's nice to know I have friends. Perhaps it would be better if you were caught. Any particular reason? I heard some talk in the kitchen. They say, what a pity if they must kill the cat. They will do all they can to avoid the prison. Oh, no, that's not amazing. The police want me in jail. My old friends want me dead. The cat wants me out of town. What do you mean the cat wants you out of town? He sent me a message this morning. It seems the sky is about to fall in on me. Then don't you think it's foolish to remain here without knowing what will happen to you? But if you were in South America with me, you would know exactly what will happen. You make it sound dangerous either way. It would be so much nicer to be killed by love, no? Uh, pardon me while I get the water out of my ear. John, you know what sort of men they are at Bethany. Another world when they will do something to you. <laughs> well, I better get back. But what has she got more than me? Except money. And you are getting plenty of that. Danielle, you are just a girl. She is a woman. Why do you want to buy an old car if you can get a new one cheaper? It will run better and last longer. Look at my old car just drove off. No, it hasn't. It just turned amphibious. Oh, uh... I thought last night see what the big attraction was. Yes. You must be even made an introduction. Oh, uh, you didn't tell me your name. Daniel Poussard. Miss Poussard, Miss Stephen. How do you do, Miss Poussard? Mr. Burns has told me so little about you. Well, we only met a couple of minutes ago. That's right, only a few minutes ago. Only a few minutes ago. Then you talk like old friends. Ah, oh, well, that's warm, friendly France for you. Uh, well, I was, I was asking you about renting some water skis. Would you like me to teach you how to water ski? Thank you, but I was women's champion at Sarasota, Florida last season. Well, that was just an idea. Are you sure you were talking about water skis? From where I sat, it looked as though you were conjugating some irregular verbs. Say something nice to her, Danielle. She looks a lot older, up close. Uh -huh. To a mere child, anything over 20 might seem old. A child? Shall we stand in shallow or water and discuss that? <laughs> Enjoying yourself, Mr. Burns. Oh, it's very nice out here. You know, the salad, all right? Well, it's too much for me. I'll see you at the hotel. I'll go <laughs> uh, But, Mr. Burns, you didn't finish telling me why French women are more seductive than American women. No, I'd like to tell you. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, my God.